Hello, so uh, today I'm going to show you another trick which you can use uh, for your blog in order for you to cate categorize your blog post um, in less than five minutes or in no time, in seconds. Okay, so imagine, um, uh, like in my previous video, um, which where I generated, uh, you know, around 200 articles in just five minutes. So as you can see, this was uh, the video right there where um, I generated these 239 articles in, uh, you know, using Article AI Generator. So once, uh, so those 239 articles were in just a single category. All right. So as you can see that one, it, it was in, in a single cut. There were in a single category. So here, uh, what we're going to do here, we wanted uh, all our 39 blog posts to be separated into, uh, you know, uh, like three to four categories. So in that way, uh, Google will uh, make our site more attractive for Google to rank them, to rank our blog post. Okay, so this right here are my 239 blog posts. And what you can do here, uh, since it's only, uh, they are only uh, re relate, belong to a single category. So I wanted to split them into four categories. So I'll categorize them into four different categories. Since these are 239 blog posts, so if we do it manually, it will take us hours, you know, to, uh, you know, edit the categories of this blog post. So what I'm going to do here, uh, if you see here, this sheet editor. So this is a free plugin which you can install in your WordPress website. And once you have that, you will uh, see this view right here. So it's like a spreadsheet where you can quickly see all your, you know, blog posts in one screen, along with it's uh, where the categories where they are belong to. All right. And you can see here all the featured image, which blog posts have featured image. So it's it really looking good. Your website, this website now, goodluckspell.com. If you follow the, the first video where I created this website, now it, it's looking good where it has these uh, featured images. As you can see, uh, we generated as well these featured images in Bob using this website called uh, Article AI Generator. So we have this Bob feature image. So let me just quickly show you how we can add before we proceed to, you know, categorizing this. So if we scroll down here, you can see some of the blog posts. I'm still working on them. They don't have a featured image yet, as you can see quickly. So in this view, so let me do this uh, five blog posts. Let's add featured images. So you will see how quickly we can do that. So just copy them directly like that from using sheet editor view, and then go back to your uh, work. Uh, this one article AI generator bulk feature image update piece right there. And then here with the image style, let's keep it as digital art. And then of course you have to apply your uh, WordPress cr credential. Okay. Right there. So that it can update your blog post automatically. So look, watch how fast it will update these five blog posts. Okay. It will add featured images. So right there. So let's go back. Now you can check this featured images history. As you can see, these five are now generating. So if we refresh that, so they're all, okay, let's uh, wait. It won't take much time. Okay, let's just refresh the page. So just waiting for three to uh, are already done. Okay, three. Now two more. Let's refresh. Okay, now they're all done. Let's refresh. Okay, all completed. Now if you take a look at uh, the uh, this one right here, the sheet editor view. So this five starting from post 205, 204, 203, 202, and 201. Let's refresh the page. So now, see 205, 204, 203, 202, 201. Now they have the featured images. So that that's how fast it is to generate, uh, you know, to add featured image in, in your blog post. Like if you generated them without featured images. So, and you want them to, up, uh, you want your blog post to have featured images, so you can do this technique. And yeah, it's it's re really looking good when when your site have these featured images right there. So see, it's more attractive uh, to Google. So now uh, let's proceed to our main topic. Uh, what we need to do here is you know uh, split these two hundred thirty nine posts into multiple categories. So what I have here is we will be using ChatGPT. Okay, so I will uh, show you this prompt right here that we can use. Let so. Here, I just uh, asked ChatGPT that I will be uploading the spreadsheet. Okay, so this spreadsheet contains all my blog posts. And yeah, so it has two columns. So the blog post and then the other column will be the category. And then I will ask uh, ChatGPT to split uh, the blog post into four categories. And then send me the link of the updated spreadsheet, okay, that I can download so that we will update our, uh, you know, blog, uh, all our blog posts instantly. Okay, so here, do not change the order of the blog post. So that's very important. So I will show you. They do that. So now it will ask me to upload the a spreadsheet. Okay. So to prepare that spreadsheet, so I have here a plain Excel. So let's type here blood title. Okay. And then let's type here categories. Okay. Now what we can do. So let's say category. 
what we need to do is go back to the sheet editor view of our uh, post. You just need to copy this column, all the title. Okay, I will show you. Copy everything. So we have here a total of 239 posts. So copy them. Just simple control C. Go back to your spreadsheet and then paste that right here. Okay, now save it. So we'll just save this. Okay, once it's saved, let's go back to ChatGPT. Let's upload this Excel. Okay, once it's uploaded, okay, let ChatGPT process our data. Now, so as you can see, it listed these four categories, which we need to create. Okay, okay, so let's just wait uh, for this to be uh, completely processed. Now it provided us the download link, so let's check that. Okay, let's open that right there. So this is our updated uh, spreadsheet right here. It, it now, uh, you know, uh, added categories to each of our, of our blog posts. So what we just need to simply select all this. Okay, select all of them, these 239. Control C and go back to your sheet editor right there. And what we need to do is force paste the categories right there. Okay. And once you save them, save them, okay? Let's wait for it to get uh, to be saved. Okay, so as you can see, they're all saved. So I uh, guess another tip, if uh, sometimes if you have a slow server and uh, you will have issue on uh, saving it, uh, you know, you can, you will notice that it is saving quite slow. So what you can do is, uh, you know, update per batch, update them per batch, like for example, updating it 50, 50, and then you click save. But uh, if you have a good server, okay, a fast server, then you can update this uh, 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 yeah, more than, more than that. So yeah, so they're all saved. Now what we can do is check our site to see whether, you know, check our post right here to see whether they're being correctly categorized. So as you can see, they're being correctly categorized and you don't have to create the categories manually. So once you put that in sheet editor, uh, the categories will be created dead by, by itself okay so it's real it will really save your time so uh in order to you know make that you know more organized so what i'll do here is i'll go to uh, appearance and then menus so what i'll do to my side is uh you know put the uh, categories as part of the menu right here so here what i'll need to do is go to categories so i'll add them i'll add them in the main menu at that Okay, and then uh, this too, I will move this into a, uh, you know, uh, maybe footer next time. So, but for now, let me quickly show you. So these are the four uh, new categories. So let's save that. Can you refresh, refresh your main site? So as you can see right there, okay, these are all our categories. So you can do that as well if you want the categories to be part of the menu. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, that's all for now. So that's uh, how quickly you can categorize your blog post using Sheet Editor and the prompt that I provided you uh, on ChatGPT. So you can find that in the description below. So just remember how the steps, it's very easy to follow. So yep, I think uh, if you want more trick like this, so just uh, click on subscribe, okay? Thanks for watching.